ask you why would you ever want to scan a document to a folder drag it to another rename it and store it and spend all that time when you've got vFiler rapid indexer let me demonstrate to you we have a folder up here in the upper right we've just scanned in five accounts receivable invoices rapid indexer is going to index those documents and populate this bottom corner in a nice hierarchy okay then you can use Windows Desktop Search or even Google Desktop Search to find your documents if you don't have a document management system like High Point. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to go ahead and run it. These will disappear as those images come into the vFiler Rapid Indexer. Okay, so from here I can easily index my documents. Now what's happened, notice these metadata fields have automatically been populated. That's because vFiler has OCR'd the invoice number. OCR'd the customer name and also OCR'd the salesman's name. Very easy to set up. We could have pull down lists here for departments or you could just type it in. We'll just call it service department. Notice the invoice name is a constant variable for the document title. That can be programmed or designed in as well. Save and next and here comes the next one. Look at now we're down to four up here. Here comes your next invoice. Okay now OCR is not always a hundred percent. 11073. We've got the invoice or the customer's name is perfectly lined up through OCR. If we had a pull down list, you could do that too. We'll just send this to the sales department and save and next. And now we're down to three up here. And here comes the next invoice 11076. Bon app is the customer. Again, OCR the zone. There's a salesman's name. Let's just type service. And I'm going to lock this in. So I don't have to retype that if I'm doing a batch for all for the service department. Hit save and next. We're down to two. And you can see these files are being created. Oh, there's 11075. Hey, look at that. Now I don't have to type that again if I don't want. Save and next. Look down here in the bottom right. All this has all been done. Oh, there's four of them already filed for you. Oh, and there's, there's another example of OCR. Not always perfect. So let's just retype over that. 11074. Everything else looks good. Visually lined up. Save and next. Watch that folder come in here for the last one. There it is. Instantly, quickly, rapid indexer will quickly index all of your documents that you scan to folders so you don't have to drag and drop and rename and so forth. Check out vFiler Rapid Indexer. Okay, now you're going to see Rapid Indexer on steroids. Again, this is Rapid vFiler Rapid Indexer at your desktop. There's an automated version, but this is your desktop version of vFiler Rapid Indexer. What do you do when you have a batch, a batch of accounts receivable or anything? Let me open up the batch. Here we go, page one, okay, 14 pages. Page two, I want to file with page one. And page three, I want to file with page one. We get to page four. Now what? Okay, how do we do this? How do we separate this? How do we file this automatically or semi-automatically at my desktop? Let me show you. vFiler Rapid Indexer. This workflow here. Let me open up the designer and show you how it's quickly put together. We're going to capture the images from this folder. We're going to use an OCR process and zone out the word invoice. It's going to split the batch when it sees the word invoice. Next OCR process is going to read the invoice number. Then our indexer is going to make a lookup database connection to your accounting system or database. It's going to look for that invoice number. When it finds it, guess what else it finds? The customer name. How about the salesman's name or your customer's PO number? All of that exists in your database or accounting system. Why retype it to file it? Then we'll do another OCR process, full page, so we can create searchable PDF. Search for content within your documents. And the last step is publish to a Windows folder down here in the bottom in a nice structured hierarchy. Look at that. Accounting, 
receivables, year, month, customer name, and documents titled with the invoice number and the customer's ID right out of your accounting system. So let me do this. Let's take these, let's get rid of them, and let you watch vFiler recreate these live from this multi-page batch that we just scanned. Ready, set, go. I'm going to run this in, run the vFiler rapid indexer. This will disappear and we're off to the races. It just split the batch. Here's your first invoice. 11076. 11076 was read through OCR. Not only did it read it through OCR, it made a database connection to your accounting system or database, brought back all the metadata, populated the fields, and we're ready to send it to the repository. And we can configure a pull-down list. So we can choose, you know, a little indexing on the fly. Let's call this Europe department. Save and next. And here comes the next image. Ooh, watch the folder created here. 11074. Batch has already been separated. We're going to keep all these documents with this document. Database connection. Brought back all the metadata. Choose a department. Now what if they're all going, you know, all these invoices are from Canada. I'm going to lock that in. So now I don't have to do that pull down list anymore. Save and next. There's that first folder already created. Here comes the second one. And 11075 is up. There's that folder. See it in the background there? All right. And look, Canada locked in. All I have to do is hit Save and Next, and it'll send it off to the folder structure that we've designed in vFiler to populate the Windows folders. All right, look at that. Already there. 11073. Batch is separated. Metadata is there. Save and Next. And we're on to number four here, and we're almost done. we got one more to go. 11072, already separated again. Here's our database lookup. It's bringing back all the metadata out of the accounting system, populated with our little pull-down list. If I want to change it on the fly, I can do that. We'll make this one Asia, and we're done. And watch this. Here comes the last folder. And there it is. Does it get any better than that? Why drag and drop after a scan, rename, use Rapid Indexer at your desktop to help you index and file your documents quickly and rapidly.